Elena Cervantes is a Chicana artist. She was born in 1952 in Kansas in a city called Garden City. Yerena received her BA in Fine Arts from Cal State Santa Cruz. In 1989, she received her Master's in Fine Arts from Cal State LA. Yerena Cervantes is currently an Associate Professor of Chicano Studies at Cal State Northridge. The first piece of artwork by Yerena we will talk about is called La Ofrenda. La Ofrenda is located in LA at the First Avenue Bridge. The murals represent the first female Mexican-American union leader, Dolores Huerta. La Ofrenda is a dedication as a ofrenda and offering to the community. This artwork speaks about spirit and Native American practices. La Ofrenda was done to create a bridge of solidarity between the Chicano-Chicana community and the Central American-Latin American community in regards to all the immigration that was happening at the time. La Ofrenda was also meant to be a special honor or respect shown publicly to the struggles of working people, particularly to the Farm Workers Union. La Ofrenda was also meant to show how it is usually women who create a positive change. On the mural, you'll have quotes by a political refugee named Rosana Perez and Gloria Alvarez, who is a Chicano poet in regards to immigration. La Ofrenda was painted over by a local artist without any permission. A few years earlier, La Ofrenda had been restored. Unfortunately, it was vandalized. A local contractor came out to remove the graffiti on the mural, but they did not do it correctly, so the graffiti ended up on top of the mural. They put it on a list to get a restoration, and it did, but it was painted over, so the conservation plan changed. There was a layer of paint that had to be removed in order to get to the original composition. Therefore, the damage was less than anticipated. The Social and Public Art Resource Center mentions how the paint layers are never actually chemically bound to each other. They only rest on top of each other. One can easily peel back the paint layers off with water and the correct temperature. La Ofrenda took three days for the conservation. Here, in 2016, we see Yania working on the mural. The second art piece by Irena we will talk about is called Big Baby Balam. Big Baby Balam is a watercolor. In the article, Chicana Aesthetics by Daniel Perez, he mentions that one can see her tattooed self-portrait. She has painted the surface of her face with some indigenous symbols. In Big Baby Balam, she had animalistic characteristics of a jaguar. She had her mouth painted wide open and slit. Her hand shows images of indigenous markings. She also displays two-tone brown and a reddish orangish blouse which was designed to represent floral-like patterns and the skin of a jaguar. Big Bay Balam was a representation of a new feminine era. She represents herself as an animal and a human capturing the unsocialized and socialized natural self. Yerena addresses the dehumanization of women, gender cultural stereotypes, and bridges, social identity cultural, and the self-realization of female empowerment. Big Baby Balam is a work in progress since 1998. Going back to the tattoos in the book, Decolonial Voices, Chicana and Chicano Cultural Studies in the 21st Century by Arturo Almada, he states how the facial tattooing dehumanizes what darkly pigmented skin and non-European facial features. It is particularly in combination, slightly in cultural, where the part particularities of skin and bones are read through discourses of idealized Eurocentric national identity. She places a symbolic sun mask decorated with symbols, which represent Nahuas, a group of indigenous people of Mexico and El Salvador, causes up duality over an image of her face. As Dama says, Big Baby Balam represents the self as a tattooed surface and pictures the fact of the body as a text to write with social meaning. But it also represents the self through marketing to the animal self and in her case, the jaguar. Here, we see identity representing as a process and as a zone between the known and the social unknown. <laughs> 